Kat Pillay, our CEO and founder with Lab Connect 60. Uh, thanks for joining us once again on Australia and Space TV, and this time in New Delhi, India, with the Indian Space Congress. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me, Chris. It's always a very exciting to talk to you, and especially at this uh, venue, very exciting. Well, last time was at your offices in Kuala Lumpur, so yes. it's great to have a, a, an extra country on board. Yes. And we've just come out of a WA government panel session uh, in, uh, here at the Congress. Looking at the Western Australia and Indian relationships, you've got a number of uh, projects here, but particularly with Skyroot and yes. their launch services. Yes, that's right. Um, maybe an update. Uh, I think it was about 12 months ago or so that we had you on. Mm. Uh, we also welcome you as national partners to Space and Earth Partners and Thank Advisory. You. So yeah. it's great to be working with you longer term. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, maybe just a, a sit rep on where you're at and in particular what you're doing here in India. Yeah, well, thanks again, Chris, for having me. The, the partnership with uh, Skyroot's really grown in the last one year. We've actually now um, inked a full launch services agreement with Skyroot, which is very exciting. Uh, it took us a couple of months to, to get through the documentation, the regulatory frameworks on both sides, but I'd say uh, the support that we got from Australia, the West Australian government and then separately on the Indian, Indian side within space, uh, supporting Skyroot has been very, very beneficial that enabled us to, to complete the launch services agreement and actually be on track to getting our satellite developed and launched by um, end of 2026. So that's um, wow. that's where we we're at. And so what is that roadmap to, to, on the, on, on, to getting to the end of 2026? Yeah, so we're currently building the satellite uh, that, that we need launched. So working with our local partners, uh, Gilmore Space is building the satellite in Queensland. And then separately in WA, we are building another satellite with uh, nanoavionics. We have two satellites. The satellite that's going up with, with Skyroot is the Gilmore uh, built satellite. And so that's underway. We're going to a requirements review at the moment. We're going to go really deep into the build of the satellite from the later part of Q3 this year. And um, we're very excited to really see all of it come together in the clean room early next year in a, in a head of launch, uh, essentially, in the next year. And we understand you started with a, as a data science company. You are rapidly sort of growing that. Uh, longer term vision here with two satellites, you're obviously looking to a constellation? Yes, we want to build more satellites. We want to get the data down in India as well. So working within space will be very uh, useful there and, and really lock, unlocking more opportunities between Western Australia and India through the de co-development of more satellites. We think that uh, the support we've got from Western Australia has been fantastic so far in, in being able to build a second satellite. We understand that with the f facilities that we've been supported with through WA government, we can actually extend that, that further to actually co-developing satellites with India out of those facilities, uh, launching them in India uh, with Indian rockets, such as with Skyroot on, on full loan missions. Right. So that's why we see the trajectory going, really leveraging the infrastructure that Western Australia has graciously supported us, uh, supported us with and taking that into um, mass production of more satellites and, and data for, for and India. And what's Australia. the actual mission for the WA satellite? So it's carbon emissions monitoring. Right. We're looking at high resolution methane and CO2 detection but we're expanding that now further into more uh, analysis around agriculture and detecting uh, minerals as well. So critical uh, minerals, rare earth elements are now um, of economic interest, both in Australia, India and elsewhere. So we see that data being incre increasingly more needed and more prevalent. Uh, so being able to produce that data from satellites in space is going to be more economical uh, with, with wider reach and it will be a great project to just continue developing under the sort of WA India partnerships yeah. that we've developed. And the data from that satellite in particular, uh, is that going to be available to third parties? Is it a monetized uh, project where they'll need to buy access to the data or it allows the WA government to regulate uh, sort of the environmental emissions being made? What's the sort of end, end result there from that data? Yeah, so, so again, the regulation is key to be able to monitor and inform so that, uh, you know, departments of environments, both within Western Australia and in the region, including India, can take more informed and decisive action on how they can uh, reduce methane emissions in particular, because a lot of these countries uh, that we're working with and the departments of environment have signed up to the Global Methane Pledge that's under the United Nations Environment Program. So they've got very aggressive targets for 2030 and then 2050. 
but it all starts with effective monitoring because if you don't monitor yeah. you're not really sure how you're going to take mitigative uh, actions on this so that's where we're sitting uh, but there is also the opportunity to commercialize the data with the oil and gas companies with the resources companies we're very keen to take a proactive step in actually monitoring this themselves and then taking corrective action. Yep. So it's a multi-pronged commercialization strategy. And also at scale as well. Yes. So these aren't yes. isolated site inspections. Yes, that's uh, you're right. monitoring statewide. Look, it's a fascinating story. We will uh, continue telling that story as we go through. Uh, enjoy the rest of the Indian Space Congress. Uh, it's great to see uh, Lab Connect 60, uh, like 60 uh, mentioned here on stage yeah. uh, and quite a presence, as well as your partners like Skyroot as well. But Venkat Pele, the CEO and founder of Lat Connect 60, thanks once again for joining us on Australia Space TV. Yeah, thanks again for having me, Chris. Great. Appreciate it.